Hi guys, Captain Tiger Lily here. We're back with more of Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. First of all, I want to welcome everybody who's new to the channel because we've had a few new subscribers lately. So, hi, hello, I'm Weird and Nerdy. Welcome. <laughs> um, secondly, before we get started on this video, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell, obviously. Because apparently... From different creators that I've been watching, YouTube just likes to unsubscribe people for reasons. I don't know what the reasons are, but for reasons. So, um, yeah, that's fun. Also, share the video around. Anybody you think might want to help us unravel this mystery of a missing train. Now, I had a, I had a thought in uh, the end of the last episode that I didn't voice. Do we need to confront the dude about the insurance policy? The, um... The one guy from the other, uh, station. What was the other station? No, that, that one. From, uh, Bridlington. Um, hmm. I, actually, I want to go to Evesham. Because I want to see if there's anything dug up around there, because... We, um, oh, I like this shot. Showing them hanging out together. Not a lot of leg room going on. Okay. Um, but yeah, I want to go. You know, can we, there we go. I want to go down. Hmm. Anything here? Ooh, okay. I didn't come over here before. Anything? This looks like a repair yard. Anything particular? Ooh. Remains of a building. There was a building here not so long ago. But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? It Trying was disassembled something? in great haste. It is most odd. It is odd. Oh. We got a, we got a thing. Oh, multiple traces. Wheel tracks. Heavy vehicle traces. Traces. Let's take a closer look. Okay. So we've got... The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy, as mm -hmm. these tracks are quite deep. Yeah, the only the way you get tracks these that deep is if it's like repeated fresh and movement. were made by a large truck loaded with materials. Moving the materials over to the other building to build the makeshift thingy, maybe? That's, that's my thought. I don't know. Or they moved materials to build a track to like divert the train off from. Maybe, I don't know. All right, um. This road should lead to the town of Evesham. Okay. Anything else? What if there's anything else up here? Well, I can't go behind the broken shed roof, so that's fun. Um, I guess not. Hmm, maybe we can go ask, the I can speak. We can ask the the station master about it. Hello, sir. I have questions for you. About the warehouse. It appears that there was a small warehouse near your station and that it was disassembled. Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two oh, weeks no. ago. The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. Yeah, unfortunately. What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails and some spare railway parts. 
But it wouldn't be easy to steal all of that. Why would anyone want to? Because they're trying to build a new See diversion for the track. Man. Okay, let's... I want to see if there's anything else down here. Any digging or anything. Because this is where we went before. Is there anything past it? No. Okay. So let's go to Bridlington and see if we can talk to the Australian dude about the insurance policy. Because I can't think of anything else. Mm. I do want to look at my deductions. Also, my B key on my keyboard keeps popping off. And I don't know why. Special wagon, stolen rail track? Anything? No. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Let's try to talk to this dude. According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Oh, thank God. Where did you find it? Near the telegraph station. I must have lost it when I tried to send a message. Which I was prevented from doing. I apologize for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. F I mean, upon my word, fair. You keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. He doesn't care. <laughs> now I see that you kept your grip sack with you. Why don't you leave it in the luggage room? I've had other things to think about. I lost my prototype. And this idiot station master just stands here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do at all. Station master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken <laughs> to the <laughs> luggage room. I'll do it right away, sir. Sorry, sir. Poor kid. This Robinson <clears throat> is quite a character. We should learn more about him. All right, then let's go to the luggage room. But I wonder if there's anything... I wonder how far down the tracks I can go here. Okay, I can't go that far. Got it. Good to know. Can I go that far from... Can I go to this building from here? Will it let me? No. Why not? I'm stupid. Our poor cab driver. Robinson's luggage. Here we go. This grip sack belongs to Mr. Robinson. I think we should open it, Holmes. This is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. Of course. All right, then. Oh, we got another one of these. I love these puzzles, honestly. Okay, so I got to switch it. I'm going to go to that. up right there whoops and then whoops I can go this way and then I want to rotate which way do I want to rotate this way oh it's not right Oh, there's another one. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay. Being tricksy. Calm 
contract. Look, Watson, a bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. We should study them carefully. Okay, here we go. This exclusive sales contract. An exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Don't see anything else that would be the buyer. So this is an exclusive sales contract regarding the prototype invention dedicated to the appliance applying electricity in an autonomous way. Emmetson Electric Company, the buyer, understands that they are purchasing this device as is and are in agreement. Mr. Thomas L. Robinson, the seller, is not responsible for any problems that may arise with the prototype after purchase, whether or not those issues were known by either party at the time of purchase. The buyer is obligated to make prepayment in an amount of 10% of the prototype price in advance upon signing the contract. The remainder should be transferred within one month term. I mean, reasonable. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Regarding the prototype invention dedicated to appliance supplying electricity in an autonomous way, Hong Kong General Electric Company. Oh, he's trying to sell it to all of them and get the money. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Oh, no. He trapped Heli Sneaky Games. Yet another exclusive sales contract. By the Chileans. Yep. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yep. He has well, four sales contracts. This Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people for his machine. Mm. What if the machine doesn't even work and he's just trying to pull a friggin' scam on everybody? Oh. Uh, okay. First of all, I want to do this. I had new thingies. So. Oh. Oh. The loss of the prototype will bring a lot of easy money to Mr. Robinson, thanks to the insurance and multiple fraudulent exclusive contracts. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. That is Robinson's motive. That's a pretty damn good motive. So what I want to know is, can we confront him now? All right, uh, let's go see if we can talk to him again about it. I will not move from here until I receive my refund. Okay, so what do I need to do then? I still need to check my archive, but... All right, let's check the archive. Can I do so from here? Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Oh, okay. Looks like that. Here it is. Yeah. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham. And there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. Okay. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham Station. Mm hmm Which is where we went. This suitcase contains my archives. Uh. We can consult with it if needed. It is fortunate that we took it with us. Okay, so... Then, there's a number of recently used... Okay. Examine the side railway branch that begins at the railway switch. Railway branch that... Okay, so the uh, first thing we want to do is we want to do... We'll go to the railway switch first. And then we'll go to the other one after. So clearly there was some sort of diversion of the... Uh, of the train around there. Um... What about this? The switch is rusted, but it still works. That's good. Diverted to the mines, maybe? 
Nope, okay. So, maybe this way. Past our cart. There's stuff on the ground. I don't know. Oh, where's the dialogue? <laughs> This road should go in the same way as the rail direction as the railway station. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. So, nope, I'm not trying to go that way. Sherlock! Get it together, man. Okay. So then, we investigate that one. We'll go to this station in the middle, I guess. I don't know. Do I have any new deductions? Uh, no, not yet. Hmm. Doncaster Station. Okay. Oh. Is that one of the Chilean dudes? He looks anxious. And he is not an Englishman. Hmm. This scent Ooh, is another one of these. familiar to me. But in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture. Yep. I got this. Like... Trying to get it exact. Yeah, there we a go. Greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo, you already know the name of this man, Holmes. You amaze me. No, Watson. <laughs> I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality, quite an expensive one too. Just drops it. Okay, I don't see anything over here. Ashtray. Piece of burnt paper. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. Okay. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. Interesting. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveler or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Okay, anything else? This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Okay. Hmm. What's on the table? Newspaper articles on horse racing. Hurdle, steeplechase, and flat racing he is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Oh, tickets. Betting slips for horse racing. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. 
This man had probably used all his savings. Fair enough. A telegraph. Nothing special there. I was telling me to hit tab. What does that mean? Okay, so we've got the cigar. And that, so we've opened up some dialogue things. I think we have to talk to the station master at Chesterfield again, but... I don't know. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. I do too, but I have another thing I would like to do first. I want to check the luggage room, just in case. You never know, we might miss something. This post bag belongs to the station master. Not gonna tell anybody. Corwell Advocate Agency, Main Road, BR69HJ, Bromley, London. In reply to your last warning letter, I wish to assure you that I shall soon honor all the latest installments that I need to pay according to my debts. Okay. Letter to his wife. The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. 7 Alpine Street, Bassford, Nottinghamshire. Oh, excuse me. My darling, I ask you to trust me this time. I shall soon have more than enough money to repay the, ho to repay the house mortgage. It's only a matter of days. You may continue living in the house without me since that is your wish. Please know that I still care about you and hope that you will forgive me one day, despite all the harm I have caused in recent years. E Ouch. Railway post bags. I've had just walked past him and the dude outside didn't say anything. Uh, Watson, would you like some tea? No. <laughs> Very curt, just no. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff. The station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. Why is that? Betty pawned the ring. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But they asked for a quieter place, so... They transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Hmm. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. I don't know that I trust him. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Yes. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction. But it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. 
An expensive obsession, surely, for the station master. It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Okay, but first of all... Oh my. Ooh. Train over passer Doncaster, the station master lied and sent a false report. Perhaps he was bribed with the money he desperately needed. That seems more likely. That seems more likely to me. Honestly. It really does. I know I've got other ones I could look at, but I want to get the clues from down here by the lake, too. Don't make me walk through the water. I really don't want to do it. Okay. I can't. Thank goodness. Anything? No. Weird. I wonder if that's the only place that you can get to it, though. Because it doesn't look like there's more this way. I don't like the creepy noises that are happening over there. If there's a diversion over here. Well, let me get that far. This railway branch should lead to the quarry. Let us take a look. The switch is rusted, but it still works. Oh. The rail is rusted and looks old, but the railway is still usable. Ooh. The railway ends here. That is strange. Yes, it is. Um, anything else? Some bog monster better not jump out at me. Okay, so old railway to the quarry. Stolen rail track. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the old railway to the flooded quarry. And possibly that one and flooded quarry. The train could have been sunk in the flooded quarry at Dock has stationed. Old railways at least. I feel like it can't be sunk. Oh no! So maybe it has to have been? What does that do? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, technically, I suppose it could be sunk one way or another, but... Wait, what else did I need to do? <laughs> Are we still missing somebody we haven't talked to here? Must be. There's a beach? Well, then... That, I guess. I'm still missing one that I didn't go do, but it's fine. Here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster station. These traces were made by a carriage. Look. Hmm. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. Potentially the same vehicle. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at mm -hmm. the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle. Yep. What do we got? Oh. 
Also, the prototype will bring a lot of easy money to Mr. Robinson, thanks to insurance and multiple. Goodies. Uh, I think he's... I think he's a part of it. I really do. I think he has something to do with it. He seems real suspicious. He do. He sounds real suspicious. Caravan. Romani. I know it was different times, but like was Romani. Fairly recently. Okay. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. Oh. The dam was probably breached. I bet they breached the dam on purpose. label with the name oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> oh boy Whew. I'm good <laughs> nothing with the boats I do like how they have things strategically placed so that you can only go within a certain area it's clever I wonder if we can go down the other way Or is it just trees and plants and such things? Okay, it just loops around. Got it. I'm stuck. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um. So, okay, Chesterfield Station. So I want to go back to there and talk to the station master again about it. Because I feel like we're missing a piece of information about that. So I think that the tools were used to break the dam so that they could flood the other area and sink the train after they stole the prototype to cover their tracks. <laughs> and then they took away the track so that nobody would suspect anything. Oh yeah, that's the luggage thing. Never mind. Oh yeah, that's this dude. You have quite a number of dirty tools lying around here. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes. Well, thank you for reminding me. I should clean them. Although, it might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. I meant, what were they used for? Some workers come here and borrowed them from me. They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line so that the water wouldn't come in too close. Really? Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. Oh, you they idiot. They invited me to share a drink. <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I don't believe so. But see, they knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. Oh, boy. You dummy. You big old dummy. You let them right in. Okay, side railway branch that begins at the railway switch. So that's this. Okay, so we did miss something here. We missed one piece. One piece of information. Really? Why? Oh. Mines. This is interesting. Is that all I missed? <sighs> it would be quite really? possible for someone to redirect the train towards the mines. Should we? Yep. Yeah, I. Gosh dang it! <sighs> Uh, 
Okay, what deductions do I have to make? Face. Stolen track. Special transport. Okay, we're missing something that goes with the both of them. Or one or the other. We'll figure it out in a minute. Here are the mines, Holmes. They appear to be abandoned. Yes, they appear to be, but are they? This is an administrative panel. See what it says. Watson, you are a gentleman, and gentlemen tend to carry handkerchiefs. And might I borrow yours? <laughs> oh, he doesn't I have one. Own? I haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> Very well. Here it is. Watch him get it out later. W E A Coal. These mines belong to them. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. The distance between oh. the tracks is about just didn't have four it right. feet eight inches. A lightly loaded vehicle came this way. Okay, so it's not the same one as there is a wooden beam lying on the, the rails. The one from before. A small vehicle with wooden beams went down this way. So maybe they took the stuff in the big vehicle, or. It could be that, like, they took the stuff in the big vehicle and then they got it down here with the smaller one. In pieces to, this like... This mine has completely collapsed, Holmes. It is curious. But to be truthful, I am not entirely surprised. It's difficult to follow you, Holmes. Ooh. Missing rails. Someone removed these screws, most probably to take down the rails. A few feet of the rails have been dismantled. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's our next one. Uh, rails to the miner missing. Stolen rail tracks. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the railway to the flood quarry. From the missing section of the railway into the mines. Oh, I don't know yet. Anything else? Mines are collapsed. Special transport. No, I don't think that has anything to do with it. Oh, it could be that they sent the trains into the mines and then collapsed it after they took what they wanted. Let's see. Pile of stones. Paper package. Ooh. Hmm. This is an unusual kind of paper. Stiff and dry. It was used for a specific purpose. Let us look inside. Sawdust. Hmm. I am almost certain it is a Watson, could you assist, please? Do you have your pistol? Good. Oh, God. Fire at this package. Yep. That's what I thought. Dynamite. It's recent, then. Mm hmm. It's very recent. Mines were blasted, mines collapsed. So. I think so. Think that was that after they moved inside. I know, I know, I know. So. Never passed through Chesterfield. Which means. That one. 
Mines were sealed underneath. The train is sealed underneath the collapsed mines. I think that's a possibility. I think it's more likely than in the quarry. Because this is fresh. Yes, the flooding probably is fresh too, but I feel like one is meant to throw your scent off from the other. So right now, theory is trains in the mines. It seems more logical to me for them to conceal it in the mines that are no longer being used. Oh, I didn't like that. I don't even see anything in here. What's the point of being able to go in there? This is the cabin for the mine's security Ooh. personnel. Then let me have a look see, shall we? <gasps> Metal box? This box must be the safe. Let's open it. Yes, please. More lock puzzles. Sweet. Got it. The Mexican company Caracal and the Chilean Barcazas both want to buy the mines. I need more information. Perhaps Mycroft could... Oh, do we have to deal with Mycroft again? I don't want to deal with Mycroft again. New instructions to all W... Or Wake Call Security Personnel. Ooh, excuse me. We inform you that representatives of the Barcazas group are granted free access from now on. The company is the future owner of the mines. Also, starting today, a no trespassing rule is upheld against any representative of the Caracal Consortium. Preliminary contract of the sale has been canceled. Do not provide any explanation. This information is confidential. Oh, Watson. It seems that both South American companies were involved in the purchase of the mine. The man at Doncaster who fled our approach, he smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps... Mm -hmm. Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. Okay, anything else in here? I don't think so. Anything else? I don't like that noise. I'm gonna walk away. I don't like it at all. I don't like all the creaky everything. How about we don't? I can't get up to that building. I feel like we should be able to though. I feel like there should be a way to get up there and there isn't, but it's fine. Uh, where do I want to go? Use the telegraph to discover more about the coal company. I think he was at Doncaster, right? He just walked away when we walked inside. I think. Oh, I don't remember. This is a bit of a long one. But... We're going to try to figure that out in the next episode. So we've made it back to Doncaster. It looks like he's inside. So we're going to go talk to him in the next episode. There's a weird dapple pattern on his face. And quite frankly, I just don't like it. <laughs> so I'm going to leave this episode here. And if you guys liked this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. That way you guys get notified when new videos go live and share the video around to anybody you think might enjoy watching us play through Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. It's, it's been interesting. I think as of right now, my theory is that this there's two parts to this. I think it could be that the Australian dude is trying to get the insurance money. He's trying to get a payout, which is why he has the multiple contracts written up. But I think because of that, probably the Barcazas company, um, 
hired all of the worker dudes to do all the stuff with the track in order to steal the prototype because they might be in cahoots with the Australian guy, Mr. Robertson. I don't know, though. That's my theory for now, is that the Barcazas company is working with Robinson for the insurance money. So, I don't know. But anyway, I'll leave the full playlist below me here on the screen if you guys want to check out everything that's happened up to this point. If you guys want to see the first mystery that we solved, we solved murder. And I will leave the link to the game down in the description if you guys want to play this for yourselves, along with the links to my social medias and my Etsy page. I do have lovely plushy goodies over there. You can see some of them over here. I got a dolphin up there and a ghosty buddy, and there's a mushroom down there and a pumpkin hiding in the back. That's not that's not a plushie. That's a that's a that's a squishmallow. But there's a poison apple right there with an octopus on top. I did what I did. Anyway. I will leave the full playlist for Control on the opposite side of the screen if you guys want to get caught up on anything you might have missed over there, or if you are just now checking in my channel, if you guys want to watch the full playlist of either Sherlock Holmes or Control, you can start at the beginning of the playlist. I put them all in chronological order. So yeah, have fun with that. And that being said, I'm Captain Tiger Lily, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye!